I hadn't replaced it anyways. We still got the new socket on. And then we got our halos. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. And today we finally gonna be finishing my halo lights, finally. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully this plug that we got it hopefully it fixes the problem you feel me because as i could see that other plug was corroded a lot had a lot of corrosion you feel me so hopefully this plug that we're gonna put on is gonna finish it up for me so i can have my halo lights back on i can ride my halo lights you feel me so yeah i ain't had my halo lights in a little minute you feel me basically basically since we changed the headlights in this car my halo lights wasn't working i ain't know what it was i thought it was probably the headlights but like off camera i unplugged my well i undone the headlights then tried to turn on the halo lights and i figured that wasn't it so i figured it had to be some wiring that was messed up and as y'all seen the last video i don't know if it was the last video or the video before that but we fixed the driver's side yeah we fixed the driver's side so let me show y'all the plug real quick y'all check out my steering wheel i, I love this steering wheel yeah i do the half billet you feel me i really do i like the steering wheel a lot but got it from amazon and it's just a small little plug it's all that's all this is really it's all it is and it come with the bulb so we good got the brown and the black wire the brown, the black wire i'm pretty sure is the ground wire but i'm just gonna cut the other one in half and then we're gonna run this one and try and see but as y'all can see this plug is brand new brand spanking new got it from amazon like i said it was like ten dollars so I went ahead and ordered it. Y'all excuse the mowing grass in the, in the background, you feel me? Couldn't stop it. So it is what it is. But like I said, it come with a bulb too. I don't think we're gonna use this bulb because I got some other bulbs I wanna try. So we're gonna try one of them bulbs before we throw that one. Well, we're gonna put that one in to make sure the plug come on first. So yeah, and then in these boxes, I got, as y'all can see, my trim came in. And I got my light bulb. My light bulb came in. Well, my my um yeah, my my light part came in. My cornering light for the fender. So this is for the passenger side. And then the bracket came in for it. So as y'all can see, the bracket that's the bracket to hold the light up. So we got all that in now. We just need to do some cutting. I don't know if I want to do it myself, or if I want to just go ahead and send it to a shop. So yeah, like I said, I, I don't know if what I want to do yet still trying to figure that out but yeah we got everything so we just need to put it on now y'all can see we got it all but this video is about the light so we need to go ahead and try to get out i need to turn the car around then we need to put this on and we need to try and fix our halo light see if this gonna work so um as y'all can see right here this is my led bulb i want to use but we're gonna try the bulb that came with the came with the socket first so we're gonna try that that one first and yeah we're gonna try and see if it worked then i, I want to also check my brake lights because i i think all of them working but i do want them a little brighter because they're not bright so i need to i need to go ahead and order this little pack from amazon that i seen a couple other people ordered not for old school but just in general i seen a couple people order uh a little package of lights you feel me they go for cars and stuff so i need to try to order that i think it was like 25 dollars. so i need to try to get that i need to try to get this police radar detector you know i don't think you're supposed to have one i don't think you're allowed to but i need to go ahead and get one because for me i'm tired of getting pulled over you feel me I, I i got two tickets i already been paid for and everything it's like a couple months ago i got two tickets i've been stopped four times total and I just don't, I just, I just rather have the police radar detector so I can know when I need to slow down and stuff. And I need to get a window mount for my camera. So when I'm driving, you feel me, I can start recording more. When I'm driving, I can have the camera sit up right there. So basically how my GPS is, I need a little, a little thing so I can put my camera up here too. So, yep, that's another thing I need to get. So like I said, there's a couple more things I want to get for my personal self for me, but for this car wise, I think that corner and light is the last thing we need to do to the exterior besides my trim, which my trim come in next week. This is 4th of July week when I'm recording this, so 
it should come in by the fourth hopefully and then i'm just waiting on the colors so y'all hit like i said y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell all let's get ready to turn this car around let me get y'all a cold start i haven't started the car today a couple pumps should crank right up i want to watch like i said I love this car, y'all. I really do. I was thinking about doing a motor swap, but I'm like, why why motor swap when this motor still run? You feel me? So I'm gonna let this motor keep doing what it's doing. It sounds good. It ain't fast, but this ain't a, I wasn't planning on racing this car or nothing. This is just like a cruiser. But yeah, let me go ahead and get ready to turn this car around so we can get ready and put the new socket in and see if it works. So, yep, catch y'all in a second. So this is the socket we need to get off and y'all can see that green and stuff So yeah, it's corroded pretty badly. So yep, we need to get this one off now My blue is my ground wire on here and then the brown is the power as y'all can see I got my power running to my halo lights So yep, I need to go ahead and unwrap this Hold on, y'all. Try and do this with one hand. I hope this do fix our problem too. I hope this is a solution. Putting a new plug on. There it go. It's one off. As y'all can see, the blue is the ground. Because we got the ground from the halo lights going there. So, yeah, let me try and get this tape off and I'm going to come back to y'all. Alright, y'all. So, I got one of the tapes off. So, let's go ahead and move down to the ground. As y'all can see, I got this one off already. So, let's go ahead and move to the ground. I need to push. Well, I can grab that through when I get down there. But yeah, I need to go ahead and try and cut. Sorry. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see it. I need to cut that blue one. So let's go ahead and get to work. I don't have real. I, all I have is regular cutters, y'all see. I don't have the other the wire strippers or whatever you call them. Here's my new one. Got my new one. Let me strip this one a little more. I have a little more wire exposed. I'm trying to be real gentle because I don't have a lot of wire to play with with this. So I can't cut too much off to where it's going to strip off the wire. There we go. Ooh, I'm gonna, I need to do it both of them anyways, but yep. Mm. Now I need to grab the halo light.
trying to pull this wire up some y'all so I can have more room to work with and once I tape it off I can push it on back to Let me go ahead and take this up. Then we're gonna try and move on to the power part. Then hopefully everything should be good to go. Cause I think it was just this plug was bad. Hopefully, I'm praying that's all, this is, all it is. It ain't nothing more. Cause if it was a fuse, then I'm pretty sure none of my headlights would work. Or if it was just this side, then my tail lights wouldn't work. But my tail lights are working, so yeah and show y'all what we are working with right now. So this is my ground. I need to go ahead and tape this up. Then I need to undo this um, power part. Then put this power part on. I already stripped it out a little bit so I can have some more wire exposed. Yep. So that's all that's left y'all. Get this one corroded one off. Put this new one on. We're gonna put the bulb in so yeah, let me go ahead and finish this, get this off, and I'm going to come back to y'all. We're going to see if everything's working. So, update y'all. We got the new plug in, and I done turned it on and everything. As y'all can see, let's, let me show y'all real quick. I done turned everything on. Pull it once for my halos. My bright LED come on. This side halos come on. This side don't. So, it got to be something with the wiring, I thought. So I went under here, took off this blue wire. Bro, come on. I took off that blue wiring, as y'all can see, and I redid it because it looked like it was corroded. Where's the piece at? I haven't lost the piece. But it was a it was a a piece that they put on there and it looked like it had corroded real bad. So I ended up redoing that now. It still wasn't cut on. Y'all can see that's the new bulb and everything. I switched the bulb around and all. It still didn't cut on. So what I'm going to do now. Well, let me go ahead and show y'all the back too. Because the back cuts on. Y'all see there. It's on. This is driver's side. It's on. And then we come over here passenger side. It's all on. All three lights. And then the side marker. So it, it's, it's, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Well, what it is, I mean to say, but what I'm finna do now is I grab some wire that I had. I'm finna wire this side up and then go straight over here and then wire that side up. Then if that work, then I know it's not none of my lights or nothing, none of my sockets. Then it's something with the wiring. So, yep, we finna try and figure this out real quick. So, y'all give me a second, try to run this wire and see if it's gonna cut on. That way I know it's not my my halo lights or nothing, you feel me? Then I, I know it's, it's something with the wiring under there. So I don't know how they had this wiring done, but I'm finna try and do as much as I can right now. My blinker on. Okay, so it might have something to do with that. My blinker on my dash is just sitting on, but it's, now it's up and it go off. But y'all see it just sitting on. Zoom in. It's just sitting on. It's not on on the passenger side. So that might be something too. But I don't know what it'll be. So yeah, cut that off, run my battery down. So yeah, like I said, y'all give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and try to run that wire and see what's gonna go on. If it cut on, then it's it's something else. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure something out. But yeah, like I said, y'all give me a second trying to figure this out. It's hot too. Yeah, let me figure this out. All right, y'all, so I just mocked up something real quick, just something simple to see if he's going to cut on. So let's check it out and see if it's going to cut on. Like I said, this ain't what it's going to look permanently. If it do work, I'm going to tidy it up and all that stuff. But I got it powered with the white strip. Y'all see it? White strip on there is the power. And then power ran to this side. Put 
that back over there like that. I just don't want nothing to touch. So let's try and see if these halo lights cut on. Pull it once for halo. Now look, my blinker not even on up there no more. So that's a good sign so far. Let's see. One. Yes, it worked. Wow, so that means it is something with the wiring that's going down here. So it's one of these blue wires, something, something with them wires are messed up. So yeah, I'm gonna just use this wire, that wire for now, and I'm gonna run it under the car, try to hide it, all that good stuff, zip ties, all that stuff, like I was saying. So yeah, that's how we gonna run it. Let me try to get a thumbnail picture real quick. Yeah, so we're going to use this wire and try to make it work like that. Now, it's going to look like it's been a thunderstorm real bad, so I need to try to hurry this up. Um, I don't know if y'all could tell, though. My car is still leaning. I haven't found an extension yet. I, well, I haven't even been to my dad's car shop, but... That, so it's going to burn. But yeah, let me go ahead and turn this off. So as y'all can tell, my blinker is off now. So, yep, yeah, I need to go ahead and run this wire the right way. And we're gonna hide it under the car. And we're gonna get everything set up good. So, my halo lights will work again. But yep, yeah, they came on finally. It's my first time seeing them cut on since we put in the new headlights, which is months ago. So let me go ahead and get this finished and I'll come back to y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm finished. As y'all can see, I got everything cleaned up. I still need to put my headlamps on, but we didn't changed out the bulb. So let's go ahead and turn them on and see if they cut on. Yep, my blinker off still. So let's go look at it. nice that's the driver and the passenger got my blue halo lights back got my led in it looks a lot better now so this is my extra wire i gotta put this wire up i'm gonna need it for when i get my colors back put my speakers in there this is key and get my tools this socket probably still work so there ain't no telling now i don't even know Cause I thought it was a socket, but we went ahead and replaced it anyways. We still got the new socket on and then we got our halos. So like I said, I just ran the wire from that side all the way under to this side. And then that's how we got our halos with the LED light. So basically a new socket, even though it wasn't a socket, it's a wire somewhere. That one look a little dull compared to this side it's all right yep it's like we back in the game now with the halos y'all let me know what y'all think about them i need to clean up some ants. yep so i can put this socket in this box now just in case like I said, it probably wasn't even this socket. Even though this socket do look a little corroded, it probably wasn't even a socket. It was probably just that wire, which was some wire. I don't even know which wire for it. But, yep, we got our halos back. Now I can ride in the daytime with these on. Then at night, they're going to stay on anyway. You can't really going to tell. At night, y'all see that. We got our bright headlights. Y'all can't even really tell in person. Y'all heard a fan. That's the fan to my lights. Keep them from overheating and stuff. Y'all can see the LED. I mean, the halo is still on. Yep, so let me turn that off before I keep running my battery down. trash up in my bag yeah like i said y'all let me know what y'all think about it 
we got it all done now so let me go ahead and finish cleaning up i'm gonna come back to y'all all right so one final time i just want to show y'all with the headlamp on that's how everything looking the side marker the halos with the headlamp let me get this thumbnail too Yep. Just like that. So. <sighs> so yeah, y'all. That's gonna be it for this one. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like I said, um, the next video. I really don't know what the next video gonna be. I was just thinking about going ahead and doing that. The next video can't do it today because it's it's thundering and stuff. It's been a thunderstorm, so. I was going to try and drill out some holes and stuff, try to mock that up and all that type of stuff, but I don't know if I'm really going to do that today. I mean, not today, but the next video. I really don't know what the next video is going to be. So, like I said, y'all just stay tuned, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to all. That way, y'all be notified every time I drop. Give y'all one last little cold stuff before I get out of here. Battery is low. That's the only reason why I was doing that. The battery a little low on the car so yeah like i said i appreciate y'all for tuning in hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell all and i'll catch you on the next one